Good day and welcome to Ease and Different Radiology. I am Dr. Issa Ibrahim, and today our appointment number 17 from Tips and Dance. Today I want to talk about the lesion descriptions through different radiological modality. So let's start our presentation. In this video, today is gonna help to you to expand your knowledge and your descriptions for the lesions uh, according to the imaging modality. So the common radiological imaging modalities uh, uh, which we uh, use daily in our works. Uh, first one is X-ray, CT, MRI, point four is uh, ultrasound and slightly using the nuclear medicine according to the specific centers. So this is the main radiological imaging which showing the lesions and according to the lesions, according to the modality, the lesions can be described uh, by different ways as we will saw in the next slide. So the main question from my presentation today is how can describe the intensity of the lesions according to the different imaging modality. So the according to the different imaging modality uh, is a description of the lesions is dependent on the according to the x-ray for example is dependent on the opacity according to the CT is dependent on the density of the lesion and MRI is dependent on the intensity ultrasound is depend on echogenicity and at the end the nuclear medicine is depend on the uptake. So according to this word I can describe the lesions if it is taking the that word by hyper or hypo or iso to give proper radiological description. So According to these concepts, we have three possibilities, whatever the imaging modality. The lesions can be described as hypo or hyper or iso. Let us see this in the, that schedule. As uh, in X-ray, as I mentioned before, I depend on the opacity. So I can describe the lesions as a radio-opaque shadow or radio shadow according to this opacity. So, the, sometimes also in the X-ray, the radio shadow is described as sclerotic lesions, particularly in the bony lesion, and the radio can be described as a lytic lesion. However, in the CT examinations, I depend on the density, so I can describe the lesions as hypodense, hyperdense, or isodense. If I facing is the ultrasound imaging and I wanted to describe the lesions so I can describe it according to the echogenicity so I can describe it as a hypoechoic which meaning dark hyperechoic which meaning bright and isoechoic also hypodense meaning uh, dark hyperdense meaning uh, bright and radioopaque meaning bright so radiolucent meaning uh, dark in the image an MRI is a, uh, the signal is dependent on the intensity of the lesions or the signal. So uh, this can be described as a hypo intense signal, a hyper intense signal, iso intense also signal. So this is hypo intense, hyper intense, and iso intense. Nuclear medicine is different because it depends on the optic of the tracer. So uh, if that, uh, the lesions take the tracers by uh, according to the degree of take these tracers, so it can be described as increased uptake uh, by mild, moderate, or a marked uptake. Uh, if the lesions can take the tracers or take the tracers by, uh, uh, by a percentage uh, lesser than the normal uptake of the other surrounding organs, so it can be described as decreased uptake. If the lesions can be also can described as a hot spot or cold spot according to the uh, if there are intense uptake of the lesions 
uh, so it can uh, describe as a hotspot if it doesn't take the tracers at all so it can be described as a cold spot so in general we depend on description of the regions as its brightness uh, as a dark or bright uh, but uh, a different descriptions radiologically according the uh, the modality of the radiological examinations done as it appeared clearly in this diagram however as usual uh, we do in our presentations we depend on the uh, images so let's practice on the images to see these uh, definitions of description of the lesions according to different modalities So the main questions in <laughs> the first five uh, slides of my presentations, which including image of different imaging modality, describe the lesion. The question is describe the lesion according to radiological modality. So I have two lesions here, and uh, this is a CT brain without contrast. And there are lesions here, this one, and this is another lesion. And I will give you 10 seconds to describe it as we uh, learn it in the presentations in the previous slides. First of all, the imaging modality here is the CT examinations, and I know that CT is depend on the the brightness of the lesion is depend on the density. So, if I wanted to describe these lesions, I can describe it as a hyperdense lesion. However, if I want to describe this one, lesions is considered as a hypodense description to be proper uh, uh, radiological uh, uh, term. Again, describe the lesions according to radiological modality. After 10 seconds, this one lesions and this is another lesions. In the radiological uh, images or X-ray images, we can describe the lesions by the same way, increase and decrease, however, by different radiological term. So this one is can describe as a sclerotic bony lesions, however, this one can be described as alitic bony lesions or decreased opacity or increased opacity, because the X-ray is depend on the opacity as a radiological term. And also, in these examinations, uh, we can describe the lesions by the same way, but we should use the proper term, radiological term, according to the imaging modality. Because the imaging modality here is the ultrasound, so we can describe the lesions according to the echogenicity, and this lesion is low echogenicity, so it is described as a hypoechoic lesions. However, this multiple Hyperechoic lesions can be described as a hyperechoic lesion, and this is a, a, a testicular microlysis. However, this one is a testicular tumor, for example. And this uh, uh, the slides which are showing different lesions also by different uh, uh, brightness. So we can describe it according to the brightness, but we should use uh, uh, radiological term according to the imaging modality. The imaging modality here is MRI and the MRI have a specific uh, descriptions because it is uh, depend on the sequence so you should know the sequence first uh, for example uh, these two images are T1 sequence in axial image and in the sagittal view for different patient and there are two different lesions also we can describe the lesions as a low signal intensity or hypo intense signal uh, in the T1 in this case however these lesions which appear in corpus callosum here in the mid uh, uh, brain is considered the hyper echoic T1 signal so uh, we should adding the sequence here for the hyper or hypo echoic because the sequence is uh, 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 if we using the MRI sequence, we, it, uh, the differential, differential diagnosis is different and uh, can be changed if the sequence is changed. For example, this one is a lipoma of the corpus callosum, however, this one is uh, representing a, a pre-mass. So, 
uh, by this way we can make a proper radiological term when describe the lesions uh, uh, in the MRI we depend on the intensity so we can describe it hypo or hyper uh, intense signal at the end is this uh, images of the nuclear medicine which is showing also a tracer and uh, because the nuclear medicine is dependent on the tracer uptake so the nuclear medicine also by the same way we can describe it as increased uptake of the tracer like these lesions which are appearing in the mandible and uh, at the, uh, uh, around the knee and at the distal tibia uh, and also at the iliac bone so anyway we can describe it as increased tracer uptake however in this uh, kidney we can describe this area uh, which appearing at the peripheral part of the film uh, uh, as decreased uptake uh, of the uh, uh, tracer uh, uh, which representing uh, uh, different types of lesions according to this uh, radiological term description for example this is a kidney scar or renal scar which uh, uh, appearing as lake of tracer uptake or decreased tracer uptake however this lesions showing increased uptake so, so according to your descriptions you can put your uh, 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 correct uh, differential diagnosis uh, uh, i think uh, uh, these presentations uh, can helping you to make proper radiological term in your reports or in your descriptions already even uh, and uh, i want to finish my presentation I'll finish up my presentation today uh, by this uh, uh, collecting images which is showing a different uh, uh, modality and a different also uh, lesions with different uh, hypo or hyper uh, 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 brightness for example these lesions in the liver which is showing a hypo -oquic because the lesions is decreased brightness compared with the normal liver parenchyma and comparing with these lesions which are showing multiple hyper lesions because it have high brightness uh, in ultrasound we can adding if the lesions is cystic can be uh, described as anechoic uh, the x-ray depend on the sclerotic lesions like this or leucine lesions uh, in ct this is ct brains uh, there are uh, lesions in the posterior fossa which are being hyper dense compared with the normal brain parenchyma so it is described as a hyperdense because CT is depend on density and in MRI like this in lambosacral spines there are lesions which are bearing a hypo intense because it's showing signal uh, uh, decreasing compared with the other uh, vertebral bodies uh, uh, MRI signal uh, for example this is in the T2 so we can describe it as a hypo intense T2 signal because MRI also should adding the MRI sequence at the end, I hope I provide you with clear knowledge about uh, this uh, basic radiological term. Uh, thank you very much for your watching and have a nice day.